All right, in this lesson, I'll introduce a family of methods that is used to remove white space from a string. And those are the strip, L strip, and R strip methods. And the L in L strip stands for left, and the R in R strip stands for right. So let's re execute our code to import our Chicago data frame. But I'll actually begin this lesson with an example from regular Python with a default string. So let's say I have a string like hello world, but let's say we have a bunch of spaces at the beginning or end. I'm going to put a bunch of, space, bunch of spaces at the beginning and only a few spaces at the end. So we have first the L strip method, which is short for left strip, and that removes any white space from the beginning of the string. So this collection of spaces right here is going to be removed by the L strip method. And there we can see those left spaces have been removed while the spaces at the very end of the string have remained in place. Now we have the complementary R strip method, which predictably removes white space from the end or, or the right side of the string while retaining the white space at the beginning or left side of the string. There we have our second example. And strip acts like a combination of both L strip and R strip. It removes white space from both the beginning and the end of a string. So there you can see that Hello World now has no string, no uh, extra white space at any point within its string. Now the reason you might want to do this is because data is not always going to be perfect. It may be something from a legacy system where spaces are accidentally attached to the end. Or let's say we're getting data from users uh, who have registered for our website. Uh, putting an, an extra space at the end of a name is a very common uh, user mistake. Perhaps our system or our database has not adjusted for this. So thus, when we export to a CSV file, we may get all of those additional spaces there and that may throw off our data. So it's always a good idea when I'm doing my work to call the strip method on all of the columns and just to make sure that any of those white spaces, if they're there, are taken care of. So let's show you how to do that. Let's just practice on two columns. Let's begin with the name column. I'll extract it with my bracket syntax and my double quotes. There I have it, took a second there. And of course, like with any other string method, I do have to begin with the .str prefix. After that, I call the name of my method. If I want to remove the characters or the white space characters from the left side of the string only, I can do .str.lstrip. If I want to remove the white space characters from the right side of the string, I can do rstrip. And again, I can actually method chain these methods together. So if I do .str.rstrip and follow it with .str.lstrip, that's sort of simulating the regular strip method, but in a pattern of method chaining. Now, of course, again, this operation doesn't overwrite our original values. So now that we've guaranteed that all the extra white space characters have been removed, we can just overwrite our existing series. And now we know that the name column is going to have all of those extra white spaces removed. Let's try it again on our position title column. I'll begin with my data frame, square brackets, the name of my column. Here I have my series called position title. And let's call the regular strip method, which removes white space from both the beginning and end of every string in this series. So it'll be .str.strip. We have to remember those parentheses. And there we're going to go ahead and remove those characters if they exist. Once I'm happy with that, I can just reassign back to position title. And now I know that the name and position titles don't have any extra spaces that could throw things off. So that's the strip, L strip, and R strip methods. They work very similarly to one another. L strip and R strip each focus on a specific section of the string, or, uh, while strip in comparison takes care of white space on both ends. So those are three uh, string methods. And in the next lesson, we'll start diving into using string methods on the index and columns of our data frame.